Let's keep the school conversation going this morning. A Twitter poll found 37% of more than 19,000 parents surveyed showed parents are trying to find ways to pay for college expenses and daily living expenses. Given the hard hit to our economy from the COVID-19 pandemic, these results certainly are not surprising to many people. So Blanca Cobb is joining me this morning to talk about how to have a financial conversation with your kids, especially if this pandemic has hit your family pretty hard. So Blanca, it's understandable parents might feel all kinds of emotions from frustration to anger. How should they approach this conversation with their kids? What seems to be a common concern parents have in talking with especially college age students about financial changes? It's, it's pride and it's failure. When a parent makes his or her decision that they're gonna help their children financially with college and they can't complete that goal, then that's some disappointment on themselves, which means that their child might be disappointed or they might feel like they're failing their child and it just makes it much more difficult because there's emotions involved. One thing that all, one thing that all parents should keep in mind is they're not the only parents who are going through this. This is hitting all parents across the nation. Yeah, that's important perspective to keep in mind. You are not alone, certainly. So what are some tips you advise parents to consider when preparing to sit down with their child and have this conversation? Transparency. To have your teen or your college student really understand what's going on, that's going to require some level of transparency. When pride comes in, a lot of times parents might try to minimize it and just give them the punchline is, I just can't do it. But that's going to leave your, your teen or your college student very confused. But then not only do you tell them what the situation is and how it's impacted your family, go ahead and start talking about what some options are. What are some alternatives? Maybe is it that you all pursue a student loan or your student has to do work study or some type of employment or maybe a gap year, but then also talk about when the economy turns around and when your financial situation turns around, how is that going to look again when it comes to helping your student with their college expenses? Yeah, this pandemic has been a learning experience for all of us in various ways. Blanca, what lessons can college students in particular take away from all of this? Life happens and the unexpected can happen at any time. So really, you have to pull within yourself to find that resilience and that persistence and that creativity in terms of finding different ways to solve a problem and just not give up. Those are some really great life lessons that all of us are learning right now. I love your positivity, Blanca. Thank you. Such an important topic. If you'd like to continue this conversation with Blanca, you can do so on her Facebook page, Blanca Cobb, body language expert. Give her a like right on her timeline and she'll get back to you. And we'll get back to you right after this break. Stay with us.